So Adika, welcome back to another episode of Like More Life. And today I want to do a real special shout out to Kupat from Phuket Singer Muay Thai Gym on Sorted Road, just behind the filling station. Uh, go check out their gym please at uh, their website address which will be on the link below. It will also be in the description. Uh, Phuket Singer Muay Thai Gym and uh, that's the logo. And uh, yeah. About a year ago the gym opened, uh, I was there with uh, Crew Pat, um, getting the gym set up for them, so uh, he's a real good friend, real good trainer, I've uh, known him for a very long time, uh, when everything's back to normal and the gyms are open and you want to train at a really good gym, go check out Phuket Singer Muay Thai Gym in Phuket. Okay, so today we're going to do a uh, how to hold pads for your buddy. Uh, back home if you're still under lockdown, but you do have a training partner and you might have a pair of hand uh, hand mitts or high pads and you want to hold pads with them. So I'm going to start from the beginning. So Kristen and I fight stars, chop moi. So I'm going to do a hand to hand with Kristen. No pads, no gloves. Kristen's going to do the drills while I ask her really slowly. Me as a coach, I want to see her technique. If you're not a coach at home, but you're just going to hold pads, Try not to coach too much unless you unless you really know what you're doing. But this is just a, a draw for you to start warming up and getting used to each other. So if I say one to hook, straight right hook, up, cut hook, jab, push, kick, teeth, etc. She doesn't know me, she doesn't know how I hold pads maybe. So you want to build it up a little bit slowly. Jab, straight, hook, uppercut, hook, straight, elbow, knee, one. Up, up. Okay, so it's done really slowly. It's not done fast at all. Obviously, I don't have gloves or, or pads on, neither does she, so you don't want to hurt your trainer, you don't want to hurt your training partner. So if I say elbow, I'm just meeting it, I'm feeling it. If she went as hard as she could and she hit my thumb or something, it's broken. Okay, so nice and slow, straight right, elbow, knee. Kick, boom, nice and slow, control, get used to each other, my command, she's hearing them, she's able to comprehend what I'm saying, and then do it nice and slow, from there we'll progress, so Christy, get your gloves on, and I'll put on the hand pad, and we'll go to the hand pads, okay, so hand pads would be next, Before we put on the tie pads when we're tight, we're going to start with the hands. Okay, step back a little bit. One, two, hook, one to hook, one to hook, straight right hook, up cut up straight, double jab. Okay, one, 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 two, one, two, two. So again, these are not overly complicated slip, slip, punch, etc, etc. We started from the beginning, so we build it up. One, one, two, one, two, hook, straight right, straight right, straight right. So there you go. So, so I'm wanting to say something and Kristen's expecting something else. So this is how you get used to each other. So straight right, left hook. So I could see she wanted to throw the hook, so as a good pad holder, I will then add in the hook. Straight right, left hook, straight right. Double jab. Okay, so we build it up nice and slow, build it up faster. One, faster, one, 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 two, one, two, hook. Come on, faster, one, two, hook. Straight right hook. I forgot to hook straight. Double jab. Good. Okay, nice. Okay, so hand pads. Now when I'm doing pads, I give feedback. Kristen punches and my arm is like a wet noodle. It's gonna hurt me, it's gonna hurt her. So she'll hyperextend her arm <coughs> and I could possibly hurt my wrist or my elbow or my shoulder. So I give some thing for her to hit. Hard, hard, bang, feedback. 
she hits that hard and, she, and my hand is soft, she's getting a high for extend and there's no fun for anybody. Okay, so jab, one, two, one, two. So I'm giving feedback. So when I say one, I know she's gonna throw a jab. So one, two, two. I'm turning my body width, giving her a hook. Bam, uppercut. I'm coming down. Okay, give feedback. All right, put on the tie pads. We're gonna do a drill with that. <coughs> The tie pads, obviously designed for kicking knees, elbows, and pads predominantly just for the punches. Okay, so again, give feedback. So call it nice and loud and clear what you want. One, two, hook. She knows it's a one, two, hook. Also, when I use my voice, so in the beginning, I'm nice and chill. I'm not asking for aggression or speed. One. One. Now I raise my voice, my intensity. One. One. Two. That means I'm asking for more. And if she's not giving enough, I say, come on, hit harder. So you're coaching, you're calling, you're asking for what you want. Okay, one. Switch kick. Boom. Switch kick. Switch kick. Switch kick. Okay, so I step and I lean and I give a bit of feedback. I'm not going to hold like this, like I see so often in Virgin Active gyms and uh, other gyms that are not Muay Thai gyms. Kick. They're holding out here. This is not good. You want the kick to be relevant to the body. So you want the kick out here. You don't want them kicking up. You want them kicking into your body. Switch. Boom. Stand the side. Same on the right side. So when she kicks, boom, kick to the body, bang, you're stepping and you're leaning, and you're giving some feedback for them to kick into. Okay? Straight right, elbow, elbow, elbow. Elbow is a very powerful strike, much harder than a, uh, say, just a regular straight right punch. It's got a lot of weight behind it and it's very hard, so you want to give a nice angle. So there's the elbow coming. You want to give it an angle that she would strike the elbow with. This, difficult. Okay, so you want to turn it in ever so slightly. So straight right, straight right, elbow, boom. Okay, jab, elbow, straight, elbow. So I'm going to go to a knee now. So when I say knee and my hand is out here, that's a knee from distance. She'll swing her right arm and knee. Boom. Right arm. Boom. Okay? So if her hand is, she's got to get back to her fight start. So don't be lazy. Right. Right. Okay, good. When I hold close to my body, I'm asking her to grab me and to knee. Boom. So, straight right. Elbow. Knee, knee. Okay? So that's how you can get your drills working. Put your partner all in pads back. Give them feedback. Speak nice, loud, and clear. They can hear what you want them to do. Guys, thank you for watching uh, our latest episode of Knock My Life. And again, please go check out Phuket Singer Muay Thai Gym on Soitayed Road, just behind uh, the filling station. And uh, yeah, really good gym, really good trainers. Kupat, really great guy and his wife, and he's got a great team there. So when things are back to normal, we can go and train and check out the Kit Singer Muay Thai gym. Thank you very much. Kapun Kap. Kap. See you again soon.